Hello guys and welcome to this new EU4 history video on James II of Scotland. James was born in 1430 and became king at the age of six when his father was assassinated in Perth. Die. This was done by some Scottish nobles in a failed coup attempt for the throne. Because James II was so young, when he took the throne, many Scottish nobles used him as a political pawn and successfully manipulated him throughout his childhood, leading to the collapse of the monarchy power. Three Scottish families fought over control of the king, which are the Crichtons, the Livingstons, and the Douglases. One terrible event that occurred during this time was in 1440, when the Livingstons convinced James to invite two boys from the Douglas clan for dinner. The two boys were presented with a black bull at dinner and then taken away and murdered, Die. despite being against the wishes of the king. This was known as a black dinner and inspired the Game of Thrones Red Reading event. The constant manipulation and events would have certainly damaged James II emotionally and robbed his innocence. In 1444, at the start of the game, James II has relatively average stats. I think it should be higher due to what he does later in his reign. In 1449, James marries Mary of Goudrez. This signalled a change in Scotland, and James began to impose his monarchy authority. He immediately seized the Livingstone's estates and had an uneasy peace with the powerful Douglas family until 1450, when he quarrelled with William, the Earl of Douglas. In February 1452, James II drew a dagger and he stabbed the Earl to death, followed by his courtiers. James then demolished the Douglas's castles and confiscated their vast estates. The revenues from these lands enabled him to set up a strong central government and make improvements in the administration of justice. In EU4, there is also a Scottish event breaking the Douglases. James also established the University of Glasgow, and in the late 1450s, James was a popular king, despite banning football and golf. In 1460, James felt secure enough to turn his attention south. He besieged Roxburgh Castle, one of the last in Scotland to be held by the English in the aftermath of the Wars of Independence. James II took personal part in the siege, in which he used a large number of cannons. On the 3rd of August 1460, he was standing next to a cannon at Roxburgh that exploded, giving the king a serious thigh injury. He died from loss of blood shortly afterwards. Thank you guys for watching, and let me know who you want me to do next in the comments. Hello my children, I must give you a message. Subscribe to the Social Streamers for Eternal Salvation.